Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. It's not so bright and early. 7 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Yes, I'm running late this morning. I had unforeseen challenges. Let's just look at it right there. Okay, I got some interesting stories I came across I want to share with you guys today. I got two, two or three basically Trump-related uh, GOP stories. And if we got time, I, I want to talk about Alec, Alec Baldwin. I, I, I don't get it. I don't know how this could happen. If there's time at the end, let's talk about that. But first, let's start with the stories. Okay, first of all, Fox News. I, I came across, there, there's two stories that Fox News, about Joe Biden, that Fox News, uh, they did several stories on each of these things. Number one was the way that Joe Biden was standing. I believe it's in a town hall meeting. You know, so, you know, as soon as I put this article up and I, I watched the piece from Fox News, I'm, I'm just amazed that a major national worldwide uh, network is, is using this for news. Okay. Joe Biden stood during the interview. He's answered questions. And from one question to the next, he, he was like, he stood like this. He's answering the questions. He goes like this. And he stands like that for almost 20 seconds. I counted 18.5 seconds while he's being asked a question. He's like that. There you go. That's the, that's it. That's the story. Oh my God. Is he insane? <laughs> Seriously. The link's down below. Uh, I mean, when I first watched the video, it, it, it might look a little awkward. You know, if you just watch, if you just watch the clip like Fox News shows you, the exact like 20 second clip of him standing like this, it looks a little awkward. But if you watch the whole thing, you could kind of see where he's coming from. You know, he's basically listening to the interviewer. You know, if I stand, you know, I can relate to that. I always use my hands in my videos. I'm, you know, like this, you know, and, uh, I could kind of, you know, through empathy, I could kind of see what Biden is doing here. You know, it's kind of like a fighting stance, uh, kind of like a let's go, you know, I'm ready kind of, you know, stance. So, but anyway, Fox News, this is the, this is the big news. Uh, Biden was locked in this and they, they, they claim it's like a Beavis and Butthead stance, like Cornholio from Beavis and Butthead. He, he would stand, he'd go like this. So they did a whole piece, a whole article, uh, the link will be down below, uh, a whole piece on how Joe Biden stood like Cornholio. This is news. This is news, America. And they counted somebody. They took time for somebody to actually sit there and count almost, almost 20 seconds. I counted myself, 18.5 seconds. And this, this is the news that Fox decides to bring to the American people. Uh, like I said, through empathy, I, I could kind of, you know, I, I get it looks a little awkward, you know, and I get it's payback. But, you know, I, one thing that comes to mind is Trump and his pants on backwards. You know, but at least, you know, I don't know. That was, it, 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 weren't, it wasn't a true story. It, it, it appeared like he had his pants on backwards, but I don't know. I guess, I guess it's payback, whatever. If I were Fox News or if I worked for Fox News, I'd be embarrassed that my network is is claiming that somebody uh, Biden's stance is, is worthy of news. All right, another thing the Fox is beating up on Biden about is the fact that he's having a taxpayer-funded uh, fence put around his Delaware, uh, Wellington, Delaware property. You know, this this is just you know, and then of course they're harping on the south, the southern border. Oh my God. Oh, disease and, and them, they, they're coming in here. It's all a conspiracy, they. Okay, so I started by doing some searches to see, you know, because it makes sense. Uh, you know, he spends a lot of time. It's, it's, it's a, a sh very short trip from Washington, D.C. To, to, uh, to his Delaware home. It's not like going from Washington to Mar Largo. I'll have a link down below. That trip cost the taxpayers $3.4 million every trip. So I did a search. I was searching around to see, you know, because it makes sense that 
former presidents or, or current, uh, president current in the past would put up a fence around, you know, something to protect security around their, their home, you know, uh, their home away from Washington, D.C. It just it makes sense. And seeing as they have Secret Service, it, you know, it, it makes sense that the, the taxpayers probably pay for this. Uh, in today's money, Four, four and a half, uh, four hundred thousand, four hundred fifty thousand dollars is not all that much money. So I did a search, and I started to come up with all these expenses that the tr that Trump has run up for the American people. Apparently, he's still charging the Secret Service for staying at Mar-a-Lago ridiculous amounts of money, and then the uh, Westminster or whatever it is, the other uh, golf property he has. Um, you know, no other president. In the history of America, has ever done something like this, where he they he's actually making money off his security detail. He's charging his security detail to guard him. The rooms, the room service, the bar, the food. So I just did an initial search looking for uh, other fence wall stories having to do with presidents, and I came across this long list of just ridiculous amounts of taxpayer money that Trump has rung up uh, and, and, and profited on from the American taxpayer. So, look, man, don't, don't come to me with this. Oh, my God, taxpayers are paid $450,000 for a wall around Biden's property. I don't want to hear it, man. Uh, and the southern border is, is, is just it's the, the, two, the two stories are related. You know, if we want to do this, I could do the same thing with, uh, you know, Trump properties and all that. Oh, enough about that. But here, okay, now there's a story I want to talk about. This one, Rachel Hahn, the GOP candidate for Secretary, Secretary of State in California. Uh, I'll have the clip down below. So she's running for Secretary of State, and, and she, there's a video of her, and she claims to be a prophetic dreamer. God talks to her in her dreams. Yep. Ser you know, seriously, she, and this woman is going to be responsible for validating all of the votes in upcoming in the 2024 election 2022 2024 election uh you know she's going to be in charge of validating uh the 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 uh voter rolls uh everything uh, that scares me okay so let's get into this so she 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 talks in this one video about being a prophetic dreamer that god comes to her and talks to her in her dreams and she, she validates this. In this video, she talks about how her mother's right there in the front row, and her mother can testify to all this. So there's this story where she talks about she had this dream that her house was broken into. i got to be careful how, what I say here. Uh, she was... Uh, she, the, the people that broke in did away with her and set her house on fire. This was her prophetic dream. So she woke up and she prayed and she prayed and she asked God to, you know, look, I pray every morning and I believe in, let me just, let me finish the story here. So she prays for her, for God's uh, protection and everything. And then she calls her mother and her mother's standing, sitting right there in the front row in this video. And she can testify, you know, she, as, as proof. And her mother says, you won't breathe, believe this story. The witches, yes, yes, apparently... Uh, Rachel Hahn believes that there's witches that live down a couple of houses down from her. Now, I don't know if she's talking about the basic, you know, natural, holistic kind of uh, witchcraft kind of stuff. I, I don't know. But so anyway, she says her mother tells her that the witches, <laughs> I can't believe I'm even saying this, that lived down, their house was broken into. And the witch was done away with and the house was set on fire. Oh my God, proof that she has prophetic dreams. and that Now, this is the scary part. Because the Christianity that I learned, my, the Christianity that, the Christianity that I, I pray to, my, you know, my Jesus, you know, you, it's having the so-called witch, having, having this, this, this bad turn of events, not happen to her, but happen to somebody else. That's not the Christianity that I know. It, you know, in in a good, in a good, uh, uh, if you prayed, then the people would be caught before they harmed anybody else. You know, you, you, in in the Christianity that I adhere to, that I pray to, you know, other people aren't. You know, my misfortune isn't then switched 
to, to people I don't agree with. And this lady is running for Secretary of State. She is going to validate, if she wins, she's going to validate all the, the votes in California. Uh, like I said, just the idea that she could put her supposed uh, misfortune and push it off on her people she doesn't agree with. That, it reminds me more and more of the Taliban. Seriously, every day. I don't know if I can say that word on here. Uh, it reminds me of a, of a Christian, uh, a GOP type group of people like that. Where they, they think that people don't agree with them are worthy of the ultimate uh, punishment. Unbelievable. All right. I'll talk about uh, Alec Baldwin in the story. I don't have much to say. I just don't understand how it could happen. I'll talk about that in the next video. You guys have a great Sunday.